Baby llama. Welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be um, continuing on reviewing <laughs> my patterns or my garments that I made from the Make It Simple book by Tilly and the Buttons. So this week's video is going to be on the Tabitha t-shirt. Um, I put out a call on Instagram asking me for questions and I only received one, so I think today's video is going to be pretty short, um, which you may like because I think my last video <laughs> was a little bit longer. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, for the Tabitha t-shirt, you get three options with it. So it comes as a um, basic t-shirt, and then you have an option to make it a drawstring dress. This was the version that I actually wanted to make, but unfortunately I didn't have enough fabric, um, which is really sad because when I purchased this fabric um, in Colorado back in... When was that? When did I do altitude chamber? 2018, I think, is when I had that training. Um, I had purchased this to make the sunny dress pattern by um, Friday Pattern Company. Or I guess remake it because I didn't like it the first time I made it. But anyways, but I didn't have enough. So I just made the t-shirt. And I'm actually, I'm okay with that because it's really cute. And then your third version, um, she calls a ringer tee. Um, which, basically just a t-shirt, but your you know, cuffs and your neckband are made with, um, different fabrics. So that could be, like, a good scrap busting. Um, I mean, is it scrap busting if you're only using, like, a little bit of a scrap? Well, I guess you're using a scrap, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, you get three options for this t-shirt. And I just made the plain shirt. Um, I, like I said, I wanted to make the dress but I didn't have enough fabric so let me show you guys real quick what it looks like um I have made the size three on the top and four for the hips and it actually fits me really well look at that pattern matching super proud of that and I'm just gonna like annoy you guys real quick <laughs> but look how flat and amazing this neckband looks you guys this is probably one of the best neckbands that I have ever done on a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm like, I can't get over it. Every time I wear this, I have to show my little sister, I take a picture, and I'm like, look how good this neckband looks. Or I'm like, telling my husband, like, look how good <laughs> this neckband looks. So I'm actually really proud of how this um, neckband came out. And I made uh, one of these t-shirts for the Juno pajamas, and the same thing, nice and flat and perfect. So if you have a problem with neckbands, I think you're going to have luck <laughs> with this pattern because mine have turned out fantastic both times. Okay, so the t-shirt, um, I measured at a size 3 for the bust and waist and a size 4 for the hips. So what I did was I graded in between the two sizes. And in the front of the book, Tilly gives you instructions on how to do that. So here you'll see where it says combining sizes. I followed those directions on the pattern and what I did was I took, um, I cut it to a size 3 for like up here and then once I got to the notch that was like um, on the side, I went from that notch from the size 3 and then just took a ruler and went straight down to the size 4. And it fits me really well. Um, for the sizing, it looks like you get an inch and a half of positive ease in the bust. You get six, sorry, I'm trying to do math. <laughs> so seven and a half inches of ease for your waist. And then for your hips, it actually is a negative ease. So what I mean by that is like, so for example, size one, the hip measurement is 33, but the finished garment measurement is 31 and a half and I think the reason for that is because it doesn't go over your hip so you see here like it's not hitting at the widest part of my hip it's hitting at the top I believe that's probably the reason for why um, you're not getting a positive ease on that so the instructions 
which was the question was are the instructions easy to follow and they are they are very easy to follow um tilly writes really good instructions and takes really good pictures so you'll get like the pictures the written instructions and then you have like in these boxes it's like little notes on um kind of like quick tip take your time um if there are videos or blog posts where she goes into more detail on a step she'll put a link to that as well so you can go and reference that if you need that um, i spoke about that when i did the sophia dungarees um with the thread chain loop is that, is that what they're called but i never made one before um and she did a video on her blog and that's what ended up following it was pretty simple so um this pattern is very simple it's only four pieces so it's your front and back bodice your sleeves and then your neckline um just for like the plain top if you wanted to do the uh, drawstring dress you are going to have to do some pattern drafting um, and she shows you how to do that so you get instructions um, on here on how to draft the skirt portion of the dress okay so for this I made this on the overlocker or the serger whatever you call it um but I did use my sewing machine to first stitch in the neckband and then to also stitch on the sleeves and the reason why I do that is because it allows me to look at it and see if there's any tucks in it before I put it through the serger and cut the fabric <laughs> so um yeah so I always always based on the neckline and I always based on the sleeves before finishing it on the serger and that's about it um pretty simple make let's see what did she put the time for this so they estimated the time to be 30 minutes worth of cutting and then an hour and a half of sewing I finished the t-shirt in one hour 15 minutes and 14 seconds <laughs> so um yeah about an hour and a half uh, I think this is a great pattern for a beginner. The instructions are really good. It's really simple. And like I said, this neck, I can't get over this neck band. <laughs> it's, it's great. So yeah, um, that's all I have for you guys for this review today. Um, if I had missed anything or if you have any questions about this pattern, please put that in the description box below and I'll um, go ahead and answer them to the best that I can for you. And I'll be seeing you guys next week with the Bertha cardigan. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed these last two pattern reviews, and yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye!